What's good with y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another movie review. And I just got done seeing it chapter two. Um, I enjoyed this movie. I had a real good time uh, watching this movie with a couple of my friends. Um, I will say this movie is pretty long. I, I believe it may be even longer than uh, uh, chapter one. Um, this one runs almost three hours. Uh, our movie started at 9 15 so 15 minutes of previews like 9 30 we didn't get out to like maybe 12 15 maybe 12 20 so it was it was a very long movie but entertaining it wasn't long and boring there were some kind of like slow moments but overall it was it was entertaining um this first half of this movie review is going to be spoiler free and then the second half is going to i'm gonna go into some spoilers so let's get into the spoiler free section um pretty much let's talk about the plot plot is kind of a continuation of the first movie the losers club they pretty much get called back again by uh i want to say what's the character's name mike mike calls him back he stays in uh dairy everyone else leaves and live their lives but he calls him back because you know at the end of the uh chapter one they all made a pat by cutting themselves with a glass and they all made a pat to come back and that's basically what happens here he's calling everybody saying hey man the boy pennywise is back and uh, he's up to his shenanigans so we gonna need you well i'm gonna need you to come back down here so that's pretty much what it was they come back down here and they pretty much have to face pennywise and end it once and for all i will say that the scares in this movie are not as good as the first one for me personally but there are some intense moments i will say that there's a lot of tense scenes there's a lot of nice genuine build-ups to some pretty good scares uh there's some pretty effective jump scares there's not a lot of a whole lot of just pointless jump scares which i appreciate from this movie um i will say that the scare department could have been like i said a little bit better but for the most part it it was entertaining enough it, there are some genuinely genuine creepy moments so i did like that about this movie um i think what makes this movie work is not the scare factor the actual characters the whoever casted these the adult versions of the the children from the first chapter they smashed it out the park like you can actually believe that jessica chastain was beverly marsh from the first one like all grown up like they really and not just with her character all the characters you can believe that this is their adult form like their adult version hell they got the old spice guy i don't know if y'all know that but isaiah mustafa actually was uh in the old spice commercials back in the day um he he was selling them the owners in the body wash so to see him acting in this prominent role i didn't even know that until uh, a couple of reviews came out and then they announced it and then i actually looked at like a couple of trailers like oh that is him so it's dope seeing that type of transformation acting wise it went from that i'm sure he did other things but acting in a a pretty big movie like this and the fact that he killed it everyone killed it the characters in this movie were fantastic i love them you care for them there's a lot of funny moments in this movie like this movie is actually pretty funny which i think takes away from the scare factor because they're adults so you're laughing at them pretty much coming back to a situation that they probably didn't even think they were going to come back to to fight a demonic clown of sorts and deal with all types of fucked up imagery so i think that was pretty dope and it's just hilarious the movies hilariously funny and also probably the star of the movie bill skarsgård as pennywise he kills it just like he did in the first one this one he knocks it out the park man the guy is just naturally creepy he got the the eye that's like slightly askew like that throws you off he's drooling all over the place it's it's enjoyable 
is he he's one of the best parts of the movie and he actually has some funny moments i don't think it was intentional but his character because he's so playful but like evil at the same time so it 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 gives a a a funny vibe at times just his mannerisms and movement so uh i think that's what works for this movie that is not as scary as the first one but it has a lot of comical elements and the characters you actually invest are invested in and you care for and i like the little flashbacks they have of their younger selves and their older selves and you can see just how much they really did a great job casting the older cast of their of the young of their younger counterparts and how their mannerisms have changed but it's somewhat still similar to how they were as kids so um pretty much the plot like i said is straightforward they gotta go and kill pennywise and that's that's pretty much what it is i don't want to go deep into spoilers until later on but i will say that this was this was enjoyable for the almost three hour runtime that it was. It was definitely enjoyable. So for those who don't know who's new to my channel, um, my rating when it comes to movies is see it again at full price. See it again at half price. Don't see it again. Don't see it at all. And I will have to give this a see it again at full price, man. This is worth seeing twice in the theaters at full price. I'm probably going to go see it with a couple of my other friends. They weren't able to see it tonight. So I'm going to go see it with them, get their reaction, and just go see it again to check out some of the stuff that I may have missed. Because this movie is very long, so there's a lot of stuff that I may not even picked up on. So I'm definitely going to go see it again sometime this weekend or next week. So, yeah it's it's a it's a dope movie i suggest anyone that you if you saw the first one go see it if you even remember the tv series the little mini tv series that came out in the the early 90s go see it just to you know what i'm saying like i guess see this modern take on it because honestly i think they did a real good job and i enjoyed it for you know for what it was, man, it was a fantastic movie, and uh, I I would recommend it. So, let's get into some spoiler talk. So, if you haven't seen the movie, leave the video right now. Go see the movie. Come back, and you know you can come back to this uh, time in the video and hop into some spoilers with me. So, um, for those who remember the first movie. We all know Georgie dies, and they don't stray away from how he dies, and that's the one thing I respect about that movie. They show you that no one's safe. Not even adorable white kids are safe. And they show you get Georgie getting killed on screen. They don't shy away from it. That is more of the same in this movie. And they don't give two Fs. Nobody's safe. Not little girls. Not little boys. Nobody is safe. And that's what I appreciate about this movie. The movie starts off pretty pretty intense um there is a uh, a gay couple they are at a fair and they're pretty much getting harassed by some bullies and the bullies end up pretty much after they leave the fair jumping them beating them up and they throw uh one of the guy's boyfriend off a bridge like it's on some like homicidal type stuff i don't know what's going on with bullies in this town they all like to kill people oh and i also forgot to mention the the person that played the bully he even his older counterpart it made sense how he would look but i'm gonna get into that so um they pretty much try to kill him but they throw him over a bridge into this river and as he's trying to swim to shore his boyfriend comes down there to try to help him and he sees Pennywise and Pennywise has him. He's kind of, you know, has him held up. And then all of a sudden his mouth opens wide and he just takes a chunk out of his side and starts eating him. And I'm like, yo, this is this is intense and I like it. Uh, that was one of the first deaths in the movie, like maybe 15 minutes into the movie. Uh, the next death is this little girl with her mother at a baseball game. And you're thinking you're you got the sense of security up because it's a little girl, a little kid. She's not going to get killed, right? She ends up getting distracted by this firefly and she ends up going under the bleachers. And as she goes under the bleachers, she sees Pennywise there. Now, they hit you with a false type of 
false type of sense of safety where she's like, yeah, I don't really know you. I don't really trust you, my guy. So I'm going to just roll. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're kind of creeping me out. And then he reels her back in because this little girl, she has like a, a birthmark on her face and she's ashamed of it. So he reels her in with that with that type of insecurity. Like she, he knows that she doesn't like that. And he's like, I can help that 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 mark go away. I can make it disappear you just gotta come closer to me and as she gets closer you're thinking there's no way that uh they're gonna kill her on screen nope he opens up his mouth and bites her straight on the head right on the skull dead on screen i'm like oh okay all right they're they're going there this this is definitely getting its r rating for sure it's not even just languages they they're not afraid to show you so i'm all for it um I'm not saying i'm all for kids dying or anything like that but i'm saying it's very taboo in movies and rare actually to see actual kids get killed they don't they rarely do that usually the kids make it at the end or make it at the last minute nah Pennywise is not having none of that. He's he's looking for all the kitties out there. He, he's hungry. So, and then there's another child that um, James McAvoy character, Bill, is trying to save in, like, this carnival fun house. And they get trapped. And he's, like, on the opposite side of the glass. You may have seen it on the trailers. He wasn't able to get to him. Pennywise is there licking the glass because he's hungry. Like, this kid is some type of appetizer or whatnot. He breaks the glass with his head. He's just headbutting it. Pennywise, uh, James McAvoy character. Bill's trying to break through the glass. It's not working. And you, you have a feeling like this kid's dead because they're not afraid to show that. But you still have some hope because, like, maybe they'll... Nope, he's dead. He opens up his mouth and all you see is blood splat everywhere. I'm like, yo, my guy Pennywise got to go, man. He's he's telling, he's killing too many kids and innocent people. My guy got to go, bro. This These kids are not endless appetizers from TGIF. They got, he got to go. So, at this point, they have really built up a sense that nobody's really safe. So, at this point, they built up a... Uh, like this this realism that no one's safe kids no one in the the losers club nobody's safe um another notable death if you don't know from the the book and from the original tv series um what's the character's name i gotta find it of stanley he actually ends up dying as an adult uh you can tell from the first one when they made the pack he really wasn't trying to come back he's like hey man i ain't yeah, yeah, I got it. We we already defeated. I don't know if I really want to come back, but he wasn't strong enough to come back, and he ended up slitting his wrist. So he kills himself. So I already knew that death was supposed to happen. I knew that death was coming. But the death that kind of surprised me the most was um Eddie's death as an adult. I don't remember if that happened in the books or if it happened in the TV series. I'm not sure. I haven't seen it in so long. I never read the book, but. He actually dies when they're fighting uh, Pennywise once again, like in his final boss form. They're fighting him. So he ends up dying down there because they think he kills him. They Eddie thinks he's killed him. And then he, you know, the typical turn your back to the bad guy, get stabbed through the chest. Oh, what? What happened? And that's pretty much what happened there. And that was actually an emotional scene. They really played that off. This movie gives you a lot of laughs, some pretty, pretty decent scares, and then hits you hit you in the in the field so i kudos to this movie hitting on all spectrums of just emotions that that was pretty emotional it was a real emotional scene and i like how they really played that out and how the actors really portrayed losing losing one of their friends ultimately to this war with this otherworldly creature and i respect the movie for giving that feel of yeah man pennywise is no joke he's been waiting to for it you know waiting to you know get his revenge on these kids that are now adults now and pretty much you know anybody can die doesn't matter no one's safe so i like that um and uh i want to talk about how just the last point because my camera's about to die i want to talk about how they pretty much defeat him um it's more or less like they did in the first part is more so not being afraid of him but i like how they did it in this part where they basically they hit the deadly 
boy you about to get roasted hand that's pretty much what everyone did just started roasting him all they were missing was the roasting hand i would have loved it if just jessica chastain or uh james mcavoy bill Hader just started roasting my guy like boy if you don't get your big headed cross-eyed drooled buck tooth teeth having ass the fuck up out of here just start roasting my guy and that's pretty much what happened they started roasting him in a, in a sense and they weren't afraid of him anymore and he pretty much got weak smaller to the point where they could reach in get his heart and crush it and it essentially kill him because they the creature has to abide by the laws of physics so if it's small you're able to defeat it because it's smaller than you you know what i'm saying if it's bigger than you then it's obviously harder for you to defeat it so that's pretty much what it was they pretty much roasted him until uh he ended up uh being super weak crushed his heart and that was it man and they defeated him man and like i said before i like how they just give this sense of yeah they defeated this overwhelming thing but they did lose you know someone in the process and people lost lives so you know they you know it wasn't just uh everyone went home and happily ever after like no nah, this was you know they they really lost in this i didn't lose but they lost someone that they cared about two people that they cared about in this battle with pennywise so i enjoyed that for what it was it was a fantastic movie like i said at the beginning of this review go see this go see this this weekend with a couple of your friends if you got a hot date go take her she'll probably be scared jumping in your arms and it'll, it'll all work out for you in the end hopefully so but i appreciate y'all kicking it with me and i will see y'all on the next video peace